Hola, buenas noches. Buenas noches. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Bien, bien, todo bien. ¿Todo bien? Sí. Qué bueno. Vale. Solamente estoy... Vamos a esperar que se unan los demás chicos. Y luego vamos a empezar la clase. Vaya, está bien. Gracias. Ok. Bueno, todo eso está, haré algunas cuantas pruebas. Eh, Normalizad y Jenny Elizabeth. Si pueden encender la cámara, será perfecto. Se los agradeceré. Eh, ¿Me pueden ver bien? ¿Se ve bien el video? ¿Sí? Creo que estás en mute, Jenny. Sí, se ve bien el video. Se mira bien. Ah, ok. Muy bien. Perfecto. Vamos a ver. Ok. Norma Lices. Sí. Ok. Vaya. ¿Y qué tal? ¿Cómo han estado durante el día? ¿Todo bien? Todo ¿Ocupados? bien. ¿Cansados? <ríe> También. creo, creo que es normal, ¿verdad? Ay, sí. Después de la gran tormenta de anoche, calor de eso. Sí, ha estado un poco, eh, algo feo el clima. Sí. Vaya. Tenemos acá a Brenda. Hola, Brenda, ¿cómo estás? No sé si escucha o no escucha. Vaya, voy a empezar a compartir y... Me hacen saber si pueden ver la presentación. Bueno, acá creo que solo estoy compartiendo la pantalla. pantalla, correcto. El Fember, ¿así se pronuncia? Eh, sí, sí, sí. Fember, de hecho. ¿Perdón? Fember. Fember, ah, ok. Sí, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Vaya, entonces me dicen si pueden ver a PowerPoint. ¿Pueden verla? Sí. Yes. Ok. Vaya. Que dice stop sharing. Vale, le vamos a dar un minuto más a los que se van a agregar. Y si no, pues comenzamos. Vale, tengo entendido que son eh, nivel intermedio, ¿verdad? Intermedio, pre-intermedio 1, según lo que lo, logré entender. ¿Es eso cierto? Sí. Ah, ok. Bye. Vaya, vamos a comenzar porque tenemos que iniciar a la hora específica y vamos a estar terminando de 8 a 9. Vaya, share sound.
Bueno, si pueden ver la presentación, me lo hacen saber. Si no, pues me lo hacen saber. Solamente permítanme revisar un dato rapidito. Bye. Eh, tengan todos buenas noches. Mi nombre es Douglas Alvarado. Eh, voy a ser el facilitador o su docente de inglés du durante todo este curso. Eh, solamente, ok. David dice que confirma que se puede ver la presentación. Un placer. Un placer también, David. Buenas noches. Sean todos bienvenidos. Espero que juntos disfrutemos de la clase que se estará impartiendo. Prácticamente este va a ser nuestro primer día. Tengo entendido que eh, estarán durante 16 clases, si no me equivoco. Y pues eh, ya hay un grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, espero que todos estén agregados a ese grupo. Ahí se estará compartiendo información. Alguna duda que ustedes tengan. De hecho, ahí se les estará compartiendo también. Y bueno, como les mencioné, ese es mi nombre, Douglas. Eh, soy licenciado en inglés. Eh, tengo experiencia en didáctica y planificación. Por supuesto, mi inglés es eh, mi segundo idioma. No soy nativo porque no nací en los Estados Unidos, sino que lo aprendí acá, al igual que ustedes. Pues mi experiencia laboral. He trabajado para diferentes instituciones a nivel nacional, instituciones privadas. Y tengo más de eh, 13 años de experiencia en el área de call center. Y pues he sido facilit facilitador del idioma inglés desde el 2016. Así que acá estamos y espero pues dejar un, uh, un buen conocimiento en cada uno de ustedes durante todo este curso. Y eh, ahí tienen el número, de, um, al número de WhatsApp. Por alguna emergencia, no vamos a crear grupo, ya consulté. No es permitido crear grupo porque ya está un grupo oficial. Esto es por alguna emergencia, no sé, que usted por A o B razón no se va a presentar. Entonces, si gusta, me llama directamente. Aunque lo más recomendable es que escriba. ¿Verdad? En el grupo que ya está creado, eh, que ya está creado, para que ustedes nos hagan saber qué ha pasado. ¿Sí? También recuerden que hasta donde tengo entendido, todos tienen acceso a la plataforma de YouTube. Por, por A o B razón, usted no pudo asistir a la clase. Entonces, tiene la opción de completar los, video, eh, los ejercicios en la plataforma. Tiene la plataforma de, de YouTube y la plataforma donde tiene el material didáctico. Entonces, si no pudo asistir, pero por lo menos tiene que completarlas. Bueno, pasemos a la siguiente eh, presentación. Ahí tienen las tareas, de, las tareas y evaluaciones. Como primer punto, tenemos que es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Segundo punto, las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma y se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase. Yo sé que eh, la mayoría pues están cansados, estamos cansados por el hecho que a algunos nos toca trabajar antes de la clase. Y, pero sí tenemos que poner un poco de, de esfuerzo para que no se nos vayan acumulando y puedan este, ir al día, ¿verdad? Con las tareas. También eh, se, usted puede adelantar contenido, no hay ningún inconveniente. Entonces, ahí les queda la notificación. Eh, todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completos antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Insafor semanalmente. Así que usted tiene que estar de acuerdo. Si gusta, tomen nota porque estos son puntos bien importantes. Luego el material de apoyo será compartido a criterio del profesor en formato digital. 
es lo que dice como el último punto. ¿Alguna pregunta, duda hasta el momento? ¿Hola? Todo claro. Todo, Todo claro. claro. Ok, perfecto. Si tienen alguna duda, alguna pregunta, pues eh, solamente levanten la mano. Hay una opción en Zoom para poder levantar la mano. Durante la primera semana vamos a ver la sesión 1 o la unidad 1 y sesión 2. En la segunda semana tendremos la 3 y la midterm. Eso lo van a ir viendo poco a poco. En la semana 3, eh, la, sec la sección 4. Y por último, la semana 4, la sección 5 y el examen final. ¿Dudas con esta eh, información antes de continuar? ¿Todo claro? Hola, muy buenas claro. noches. ¿Logra escucharme? Sí, yo logro escuchar a usted. Eh, solamente una pequeña duda. Eh, ya que la, la videoconferencia está siendo grabada, se subirá sí. a la plataforma de aprendizaje. Es, es, se va a subir a YouTube. Uh -huh. okay. Entonces, eh, creo que cada uno de ustedes tiene acceso al link o la plataforma de YouTube, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, claro. Ok, entonces por si por A o B razón no pudo estar en la clase, entonces usted tiene la opción de ver la clase en YouTube, en la, en la página o en la plataforma y luego completar los ejercicios, porque eso sí es bien importante, completar los ejercicios y mantenerlos al día. Bueno, ok, muchas gracias por haber solventado mi duda. Ok, con gusto. Luego dice, eh, tenemos unas normas de convivencia. Eh, por favor, eh, mantener en, en silencio su, su, no sé qué usan, si usan los eh, speakers, si usan headsets, pero igual siempre asegúrense de, de mantener en silencio y activarlo, desactivarlo um, para cuando ustedes quieran participar. Recuerden que es bien importante levantar la mano. Hay un icono donde usted puede levantar la mano y poder este, hacer su participación. En este grupo no tenemos lista de asistencia, pero sí voy a estar bien pendiente que todos estén en la clase prácticamente todos los días. Y como les digo, en emergencia, pues es entendible, pero tampoco puede faltar tantas veces a la clase, porque eso sí le va a afectar en su nota final. Agreguen su nombre completo eh, en el área de Zoom para que yo los pueda identificar, ¿verdad? Por su nombre. Siempre es recomendable que tengan su cámara encendida. La participación activa es bien importante. Necesito que eh, todos participen, tengan dudas, preguntas, lo puedan hacer. Tenemos el chat en el cual ustedes puedan escribir. Pues durante estoy presentando veo que no me da la opción de poder contestar a la vez. Pero, um, oh sí, aquí está. Ya lo encontré. Ok, aquí voy a estar pendiente eh, cuando ustedes tengan alguna consulta o alguna participación que ustedes quieran hacer. Eh, como les mencionaba, pueden eh, levantar la mano para que sea un poco más ordenado, ¿verdad? Porque imagínense que si tengo que 20 alumnos y los 20 quieren participar de una sola vez, no se va a poder. O si sí, o sí se puede, pero se va a escuchar un solo desorden. Y la idea es tener uh, un orden o llevar un orden, ¿verdad? Entonces usted levanta la mano y yo con gusto le doy el pase para que usted pueda participar. Eh, pues, ante todo, lo mencionado, es importante mantener el respeto. Si alguien se equivocó, pues, por favor, no reírse. Porque um, todos están en el proceso de aprendizaje y... Y es bien importante respetar la participación de cada uno. ¿Preguntas hasta el momento? ¿Preguntas? ¿No preguntas? Todo bien. ¿Todo bien? Vale. Excelente. Um, como les mencionaba, la asistencia es bien importante. Se está tomando prácticamente un 80% de las clases. O sea, su asistencia tiene que ser un 80%. Um, vamos a tratar de avanzar en la plataforma de aprendizaje. Como les mencionaba, ustedes se pueden adelantar 
o pueden ir eh, según vaya avanzando la clase. El inicio de clases es el día de ahora. Y eh, por favor siempre estar en el horario establecido que son a las 8 de la noche, de 8 a 9. Eh, tener la cámara encendida durante eh, la duración de la clase son 60 minutos. Y pues siempre les voy a recomendar que trabajen en los ejercicios de la plataforma. Para que al final pues logren tener su diploma. Ok. ¿Alguna otra consulta antes de movernos ya al tema en sí de la clase? ¿Todo bien? ¿Alguna duda? ¿Pregunta? No por el momento, teacher. Por el momento no. Ok. Me parece. Vaya. Entonces, eh, nos vamos a mover al tema del día de ahora. Vamos a hacer una pequeña introduction. Vaya, tengo entendido que son pre-intermediate. Ok. Entonces, nos vamos a presentar. Lo voy a hacer y luego ustedes continúan. So, let's move to the English language. If you see right there, uh, just in case you don't understand something, let me know, ok. If you highlight some doubts or if you would like me to repeat the information, I can go ahead and do it. Don't worry. And I'm going to give you like some other examples or explanation related to what I have said. There you have the introduction. What we're going to do is to take into consideration our name. Okay. You are going to also uh, provide your last name. All right. And you will also spell your last name. In the United States, uh, people say last name, but in British language, they say surname. Surname is the same. Like, for example, I'm going to write down, let's use the chat right now. I'm going to write down my complete name and I would like you to write down your complete name as well. So my complete name is Jose, that's my first name. My middle name or my second name is Douglas and my last name is Alvarado. I can say my last name or surname. Surname is Alvarado. So there you have my full name, but I would like you to write down yours. Use the chat, write the information in the chat. I want to know your full name. So my first name, Jose, second name or middle name is Douglas. And my surname or last name is Alvarado. Okay, ready? <clears throat> Are you ready, guys? Yes. Awesome. Let's do it. <laughs> yes, I'm ready. Okay, great. Okay, but I, I would like you to use the chat. I want you to type the information on the chat yet. Okay. You need to write down your full name, full name, your full name. Jenny, if you wish, you can, oh, I have Silvia Esther Rivera Calderon, awesome. So in your name, Silvia, what is your first name? My first name is Silvia. Silvia. And what's your middle name? Is Rivera. No, your middle name is Esther or your oh. second name. That's your middle name or your second name. Okay. <laughs> Awesome. Hector, what's your first last name? My first last name is Bonilla. Bonilla. Awesome. Okay. I had David Enrique Rivera Calderon. What is your, sec your second surname, David? Uh, my second surname is Enrique. Oh, no. Sorry. Don't invent. <laughs> <laughs> Calderon. <clears throat> Calderon. Awesome. Calderon. Yes. Uh, Jenny, do you have any question? Jenny Elizabeth, you have no. your, your hands up. <laughs> it's okay. 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 So, Norma Leticia Garcia de Canjura. Okay. What is your middle name, Norma? Good evening, teacher. Es que... Sorry, pero casi no sé mucho inglés. O sea, esa palabra nunca la había escuchado. 
Uh, surname is the same as last name. Oh, solamente last name, sí. Es decir. Okay, last name is the same. It's the same. So if you say surname or last name, it, it is the same. Okay, o sea, no le entiendo muy bien. Surname y last name es lo mismo. Exactly, that's right, oh, yes. Okay, surname. Okay. Entonces, solamente last name, o sea. Okay. My last name is Garcia. Awesome. My last name is Garcia. Just remember something, guys. Since you are learning, I mean, since you are paying to learn English, we're going to try to use English as much as we can. Sometimes it's not that easy. I know because I was a student. At the beginning, it was kind of complicated for me to understand the teacher. However, if we try to practice a little bit, and if we try to do our best, we're going to become great English speakers, okay? And if you don't know, if you don't know something, of course, you can ask. And I will be able to explain that information to you, but we are going to try to use as less as we can, okay? So we're going to try to use more English than Spanish. Okay, but there, there are going to be some times in which we are going to be able to use Spanish just in case you don't understand something. Okay, but that's going to be once in a while, not all the time, because you are not, you are not learning Spanish. Okay, you are learning English. Um, all right, so I have Jenny Elizabeth Hernandez Maldonado. May I know what's your second surname, Jenny? Maldonado. My second surname, remember? Uh -huh. My second surname is Maldonado. Okay, there's going to be, if you, will, if you would like to turn your cameras on, that will be great, Jennifer. Also, Jose Alejandro, turn it on, please. Norma, if you had that option, go ahead and do it. Uh, due to that, that's one of the requirements from the, the institution, Inglés Corporativo, to have your cameras on. Okay, so I also have Maria Santos Lopez. Lopez, all right, awesome. I have, a, let's see, Leyland, Azucena Garcia Molina. Okay, awesome. May I know what's your first surname, Leyland? Leyland, hello, Azucena. Hello. <laughs> okay, may I know what's your first surname? Uh, uh, my first surname. First surname is Garcia. Garcia, okay, awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, please, Jenny and Norma, if you have the option to turn your cameras on, that will be great. The same as Leyland. Okay, keep your, keep your cameras on. Mantengan sus cámaras encendidas, please. Sí, That's yo intenté lo que, pasa es que, lo que pasa es que mm -hmm. cuando lo encendí, usted me dijo que tenía el micrófono apagado, ¿verdad? Cuando yo intentaba ah. encender el micrófono, se me apagaba la cámara, entonces ahí tengo ese problema. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Thank you for letting me know, ok. All righty. And there you also have Alexandra Yamilez García. En Díaz, García Díaz. All right. Awesome. Hi, everyone. Hi. Okay, cool. Now, what we're going to do right now, guys, we're going to make, uh, we're going to do an activity. We're going to provide our information first. The introduction, the first thing that we're going to take into consideration is going to be the name, okay? In my case, my first name is Jose, but my second name or middle name is Douglas. So I prefer you to call me Douglas than Jose. I don't like Jose. I don't know what, what name you don't like, but in my case, I don't like Jose. Okay, so if you would like to be called Jamileth instead of Alexandra, that's great, okay? So you can say, oh, my name is Alexandra, or I can say my name is Douglas. And there you have the second uh, point that we're going to take into consideration would be surname and last name, okay, which is the same. And then you are going to spell it. For example, 
how do I how do I spell my surname? I'm going to say you spell it, you spell it A L V A R A D O, which is Alvarado. Okay, and I'm going to show you many different things to spell the names, last name, places, etc. For example, there are there are three different types of spelling. The first one, pay attention. The first one, you can say A L V A. I'm going to send my last name. Okay, there you have my last name, A L V A R A D O. That is the first way of spelling the names. <clears throat> The second one, you can say A for Apple, L for Lima, V for Victor, A for Apple, R for Romeo, A for Apple, D for Delta, O for Oscar. And that's okay. If you want to use the first option, okay. If you want to use the second option, okay. But if you want to use the third option, and nowadays a lot of teenagers and also uh, native speakers from the United States, they are using the third and the easiest. For me, it's the easiest way of spelling. Instead of saying A for Apple, L for v for Lima, V for Victor, A for Apple, R for Romeo, A for Apple, D for Delta, O for Oscar, I can say Apple, Lima, Victor, Apple, Romeo, Apple, Delta, Oscar. Is it clear? <clears throat> yes? Yes. Okay, you can play with words. Like, for example, let's see. Um, Calderon. How do you spell Calderon? Jose Alejandro. Calderon. I'm going to use your, your last names, by the way. Calderon. Okay. How do you spell Calderon? Jose Alejandro, I think you are uh, on mute. Calderon sería C. A, yeah. L, mm -hmm. D, yeah. E, uh, R, uh, O, and M. Okay, awesome. So, but if you would like to, if you would like to spell it uh, fast, how will it be? Can somebody can somebody spell it really fast, the way I was expel, spelling before? Because that's the way a lot of teenagers and also um, uh, Native American speakers spell it. They don't say A for Apple, L for Lima, V for Big. They say Apple, Lima, Victor, Apple, Romeo, Apple, Delta, Oscar. Clear? Is it easy for you or difficult? What do you think? Easy? Piece of cake? Hello? I think that is easy. That's easy, okay? Can you please spell Calderon? But on the third way, because the first way is C-A-L-D-E-R-O-N. That's the first way. The second way, C for Charlie, A for Apple, L for Lima, D for Delta, E for Echo, R for Romeo, O for Oscar, N for November. And the third way will be Charlie, Apple, Lima, Delta, Echo, Romeo, Oscar, November. Can you please do it on the third way? Can somebody a, do it? Uh-huh. The third a, way. Mm -hmm. For example, C, Cameron, A, Apple, L, Lima, D, Delta, mm -hmm. uh, e, elephant, uh, oh yeah, elephant, uh -huh. and air, rice, uh -huh. o, um, Oscar, Oscar. Uh -huh. and orange, nice, and nice, excellent. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now let's do something. I'm going to spell you. I'm going to spell you some last names. Okay. I'm going to use your last names, by the way, and I'm going to spell them using the third type. 
or the third way of spelling the words. Why is that so important? It is very important, guys, because in the United States, for example, and since we are, we are learning American English, we need to know how English works in the United States. If you work for a call center or if you work in any other company where English is used, they are going to spell like that. And they are going to use that type of spelling. They are going to spell really fast and you will you need to be able to listen to like for example let's say that they are spelling uh, their last names and you are taking down the um i don't know the debit card or credit card uh, name you need to be able to take it correctly okay just let me check okay. something here mm -hmm. Okay, now I, I I want you to use I want you to use the chat, and I'm going to spell last names, but I'm going to do it using the third way. Let's see how many of you are able to write it down or type it on the chat. Okay, ready? Are you ready? By the way, Stephanie Vides, can you please turn the cameras on? Okay, thank you. Okay, so the first one is going to be Charlie, Romeo, Echo, Sierra, Papa, India, November. What's the surname? What's the surname? Repeat, please, coach. <laughs> okay. It's all right. Is it, it is Charlie, Romeo, Echo, Sierra, Papa, India, November. What is the surname? Crespin. Excellent. Great. Crespin. Awesome. Awesome. I like it. Okay. Next. Golf. Apple, Romeo, Charlie, India, Apple. What's the, what's the surname? Garcia. Garcia. Excellent. Okay, next, Victor, Apple, Lima, Lima, Apple, Delta, Apple, Romeo, Echo, Sierra. Valladares, excellent, great. Okay, next, Delta, India, Apple, Zoo. Diaz, excellent, you see, that's easy, piece of cake. The last one, Mother, Echo, Jennifer, India, Apple. What's the surname? Mejia, awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you, Brenda. And the last one, uh, Bravo, Oscar, November, India, Lima, Lima, Apple. What is the surname? Thank you, Sylvia. Of course, David. Catherine, excellent. Jenny, excellent. That is Bonilla. Okay. <clears throat> so, since you, are, you already know how to spell it, we're going to continue with the uh, H. So in my case, I'm going to say I'm 38 years old. My birthday, you know what your birthday is. And the address is not necessarily to say that the specific address. You can say I uh, my address is in I don't know, San Vicente, or my address is located in Ilopango, okay? It's not necessary to provide the full address. And your phone number, of course, if you want to say it, it's all right. 
And if you want to invent it, don't worry, you can do it. The country, nationality, and then your job. If you don't work, if you don't work, you can say, oh, uh, I'm a student, okay? Just in case you don't work. Okay, so let me introduce myself. So my name is Douglas. My last name is Alvarado. And you spell it A-L-V-A-R-A-D-O. I'm 38 years old. My birthday is on May 26. I live in uh, San Martin City. My phone number is 76248487. I'm from El Salvador. I'm Salvadorian and I'm a teacher. Okay, awesome. Now, who's going to be the first one? Who wants to be the first one? Okay, thank you, Kevin. Okay, I'm going to try it. Uh, my name is Kevin Hernandez. My surname is Hernandez. Uh, it's a spell K for kilo, mm -hmm. E for echo, mm -hmm. uh, B for Victor, Yep. I for India. Mm -hmm. M for for mother or November. November. Thank mm -hmm. you. Uh, You're welcome. I'm 20 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, my birthday is on January 27th. My birthday. My, my birthday is on uh, January 27th. Mm -hmm. After my address is located in San Salvador City. My okay. phone number is 75 mm -hmm. a, a, one, eight, yes. a two All right. seven five. Okay. Uh, my country is uh, I'm I'm from El Salvador. Yep. And I'm Salvador Salvadorian. I'm Salvadorian. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't work now, but okay. I am a student. Excellent, great. An applause for Kevin. Remember that you can use emojis if you want to send an applause. Okay, awesome. Now, who wants to be the next one? Next one, another me. volunteer. Who sent me? Me. Okay, all right, mm. go ahead, please. My name is Silvia and my last name is Rivera. Yep. R I D E R. Mm -hmm. I am 25 years old. My mm -hmm. birthday is July 15. Mm -hmm. My location is Lourdes Colon. Yep. My phone number is 6959. Two eight four four. Yes. I am from El Salvador. My nationality is Salvadorian, yes. and my job is social media manager. Awesome! Great. Thank you, Selvia. Good job. Next, who wants to be next? Next. Me. Teacher. Okay. Thank you. Good evening. Stephanie, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Anna or Stephanie, who's no. going to be the first one? Who said me first? Me first. <laughs> okay, Anna, go ahead. And then I'm, go <laughs> I'm going to select Stephanie. Okay, okay. go ahead. Is, my name is Anna okay. and my surname is Flores. I'm sorry to interrupt you. You need to use the expression, I'm going to introduce myself. Ah, okay, sorry. I'm going to introduce myself. Mm -hmm. My name is Anna. Yep. And my story is Flores. All right. And I mm -hmm. spell that F for flower, for roses, E yep. for echo, and S for spark. And right. I am I am 34 years old. Yep. And my birthday is on November 8th. Excellent. And I live in Lourdes. Yes. My phone number is 77 69 46 yes. 55. 
Okay. And I, I, my country is Salvador. And okay. my nationality is Salvadorian. And I, I have to work in a private school. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Anna. Remember that if you want to say, instead of saying my country, you can say I'm from. I'm from El Salvador. Okay. okay. Great. You. Awesome. Now let's listen to Stephanie. Go ahead, please. I am going to introduce myself. My okay. name is Stephanie. My surname is Vides. B-I-D-E-S. Okay. My birthday is January 24. Okay. I am 22 years old. Right. I live in San Marcos, El Salvador. Yes. Uh, my country is El Salvador. My nationality is Salvadorian. Yeah. And... ¿Cuál era el último? <laughs> Se me olvidó el último. My job. Ah, my job, yes. I work in a call center in Spanish. Okay, awesome. All right, okay, any other one who wants to introduce his or his, herself? Remember that we're practicing this because later on you are going to do it in pairs. Okay, so any other one who wants to introduce himself or herself? Don't be shy, guys. Remember that practice makes perfect. No more volunteers. Jenny? Hi. Hi. My name is Jenny. Remember, my last name. I'm my going name. to introduce myself. Okay, I'm going to introduce myself. Yes. Uh, my name is Jenny. Mm -hmm. My last name is Hernandez. Mm -hmm. I spell H E R N A N D E C. Uh, my age is 28. My birthday yeah. is June 28. Mm -hmm. My address is in Antiguo, in Antiguo Catalan. Yes. My phone number is 7023737. Oh, okay. Um, uh, my co uh, country is I from El Salvador. Okay. I uh, Salvadorian, All and right. I don't work. Okay, excellent. Uh, go ahead, Hector. Okay, and um, I'm going to introduce myself. My name yes. is Hector. Mm -hmm. My surname slash last name is Bonilla. Okay. And um, I try to spell. It. And B O N A L L A. I'm 21 years old. Mm -hmm. My birthday is um, December 201. Mm -hmm. My address, my current address is Chachapa. Okay. And my phone number is 75 20 91 77. Okay. I'm from El Salvador, so then I'm Salvadorian. And my job is um, developer. Okay. Thank you, Hector. Uh, the, there are two words that you need to pay at close attention to. The first one is birthday, my birthday. Oh, my birthday is on May 26. But you, if you say my beer day, it's like when you go to the party <laughs> to drink beer. So you need to say my birthday, okay? Okay, thank you. Any other one? No more volunteers? Okay. And let's see, the last one, Sandra. Remember that if you don't do it right now, or if you don't do it today, we're going to do it later on in pairs. I am going to uh, introduce I'm, myself. I'm going to introduce myself. Thank you. My name is Sandra. Mm -hmm. My source name is Asensio. Yes. Um, I spell. Mm -hmm. um, 
A S C E N C I O. Okay. Um, my I have um twenty four years old. I'm twenty four years old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My birthday is a uh, March second. Birthday. I am from in Tonacatepeque. Mm -hmm. My phone number mm -hmm. is seventy three twenty nine sixty six zero four. Uh, my country is El Salvador. I am nation my nationality is Salvadorian and I don't have a job. You don't have a job. Okay, uh, before to continue, Kevin, Kevin and Edwin, uh, please turn your cameras on. Thank you. Okay, now let's do something else. Since you have already introduced yourself, I'm going to send to you let me stop sharing. And what we're going to do, we're going to use just chat, okay? Jenny Elizabeth and Kevin, if you would like to turn your cameras on, please do it because it's going to be taken into consideration. Uh, coach, mm -hmm. uh, I connect my computer and my cell phone. It's ah. mm -hmm. the same. All right, okay. Thank you. Now, uh, let's do something. I'm going to go ahead and send to you uh, some information. What I would like you to do, I'm going to take a, a screenshot. And what you need to do is to provide me the nationality of the countries I'm going to share with you on the chat. Okay? So, once you're ready, let me know, please. Okay. Um, if you can see the the information on the on the chat, let me know. Oh, sorry about it. Let me eliminate this one. Oops. My bad. That was not the one I wanted to send you. I want to send you this other one. Okay, there you go. <laughs> okay, can you see it or not yet? There you have. What you need not to yet. do, what you need to do is to check the countries and also send me the nationalities. For example, if you are from Brazil, what will be your nationality? Brazilian. Brazilian, okay. So that's what you need to do. Send it, okay? Let's do it quickly. Two minutes. Just check the list of countries and you need to send me the nationalities. Jenny Elizabeth, if you would like to turn the cameras on, that would be great. Okay, Korea, Korean, okay, awesome. Next, if you are from Mexico, what would be your nationality? Guys, any idea? Okay, Japan. Mexico. Anna says Japanese, great. Okay, Sylvia says that if you are from Mexico, you are Mexican. Okay, Geraldine says that if you are from Peru, you are Peruvian, that's great. And we, Canada? sorry. Canada. Canada. Canadian. 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 Canadian, Canadian. Canadian. thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Anna says that if you are from El Salvador, you are Salvadorian. That's true. Sylvia says that if you are from China, you are Chinese, which is correct. Yes. What is Russia? Uh huh, guys. Does anybody know? Does anybody know if you are from Russia, what will be the nationality? Russian, yes. 
Thank you, David. Kevin says that if you are from USA, you are an American. Okay. And Hector Jose Bonilla sent all the nationalities. Japanese, Mexican, China. Oh. China is Chinese, Hector. Okay. Brenda says Russian. Okay. Beside all those examples I sent you, I want you to send me yours, your own examples. Bel uh, Alexandra says Belize, Belizean. Okay. I didn't know it. If you are from Argentina, what will be your nationality? Argentina. Okay. Any other one that you want to write down? Leyland says that if you are from France, you will be French. Great, Alexandre, Alexandra, sorry. Alexandra, you have your hands up. Would you like to say something? Alexandra Yamilev? No? No, sorry. Uh, <laughs> okay. Awesome, awesome. Thank you guys, thank you. Now, let's move to another activity. Okay, let me go ahead and share with you the uh, computer screen. And once you can see it, just let me know, please. Mm -hmm. I'm going to share it one more time. Okay, can you see it or not yet? Can see. Can you? Can yeah. you see it? Awesome. Yes. I see. Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. So yeah. the objective, the objective for this lesson, I need a volunteer to read that information. The objective for this lesson. Mm -hmm. Jenny says that she has like some issues with the app. It's okay. Okay, who wants to read the, the objectives? Any volunteer? I can. Can I? Go ahead. Okay. In this lesson, participants will learn how to introduce themselves mm -hmm. and others by listening to, the, to a conversation between two people who just met and are introducing each other. Each other, okay. I want you to pay attention to something which is really important, guys. Uh, pronunciation. As I said before, I'm an uh, ESL teacher, English as a second language teacher. I'm not native speaker, but I try to imitate native speakers. So pronunciation is one of the most important things in English language, and we are going to learn it step by step. So there you have the reading will say, in this lesson, participants will learn how to introduce themselves and others by listening to a conversation between two people who just met and are introducing each other. Okay, does it sound much better? Yes. yes, of course. Okay, great. And we are going to learn it step by step. So there you have, I think that you will be able to, to, to watch the conversation in some seconds. Just give me one minute. Okay, the video is loading. If you can listen to, let me know, please. If you cannot, let me know as well. Okay. Hello everyone, welcome to the pre-intermediate course. Can you listen to? Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah. pay, pay attention, please. Go ahead. This is section one. 
please call me Beth. This lesson, participants will learn how to introduce themselves and others by listening to a conversation between two people who just met and are introducing each other. Hi everyone, welcome to this class. We'll learn how to introduce ourselves and others. For you to learn how to do so, you need to listen to the following audio program. Remember that you may listen to the audio as many times as you need to and don't forget to practice it as well. Let's pay attention. Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. Son He is here. Who's Son He? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where's she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. -A. Okay. Now, I need two volunteers to, the pre to read the same conversation. Please call me Beth. Okay, I need a I need a boy and also a girl. By listening to a conversation by listening to a conversation between two people who just met. By listening to a conversation between two people who just met and are introducing each other. Hi everyone, welcome to this class. We'll learn how Okay, I need two volunteers. Who want to be who wants to be David and who wants to be Beth? David and Beth. I need two volunteers only. Can I? Okay. Thank you. Who else? I need just David and Beth. I can. Okay. Great. Thank you. Okay. Go ahead, David, and then Beth. Hello. I am David Garson. I am a new club member. I'm a new club member. Okay, okay. I'm a Hi. new club okay. member. Sorry, Beth. Okay, where? Uh, okay, where are, you, where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I am from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. Some here is some some he is here. Uh, who some he? She must class me. Where is me? Where is me? Where is where in the same math class? Where's she from? Korea. Let's go and say no veo. Say hello. Korea. Let's go and say hello. No alcanzo a ver más. Me too. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Let's see. There you go. Mm -hmm. and others for you to learn how to do so. Ah, okay. It's better. Okay. All right. So, thank you guys for your participation, David and Anna. And now, let me go ahead and check other information here. Remember that on your platform, guys, you need to start since the very beginning. The first one, then the second one, second one, and then you can continue moving on. Is it clear? It's yes? Clear. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Great. Of course. Thank you. Now, guys, let's move to the next activity. On the next activity, <clears throat> I'm going to share my computer screen. Once you can see it, let me know, please.
just let me double check something. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Share. Okay. Can you see it or not yet? Yes. Yes, I can see it. Okay. Thank you so much. Awesome. Now let's practice a little bit a conversation. So just let me <clears throat> go ahead and share with you. Since you have already uh, verified the information related to uh, countries and nationalities, we're going to have an speaking activity. And I want to select some of you. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to select Gianni. Can you please read the name of the activity, the purpose and the instructions? Thank you. Okay. Uh, speaking activity. Yes. Purpose. purpose. To talk about the countries and, uh, and nationalities. Mm -hmm. Instruction. Listen to, to your teachers. Examples. Mm -hmm. Take the role of student A, B. Ask about the country, ask about the nationality, use the following question, where are you from? What is your nationality? Okay, so where are you from and what's your nationality? Those are the two questions that you are going to take into consideration, okay? So uh, I, want you to, I want you to select one country and you are going to tell me the country and also the nationality. For example, let's see, Davy. if I ask you, where are you from? What will be the country that you're going to select? I am from Sal uh, Salvador. I'm from El Salvador. That's your country. Okay, uh -huh. okay. And what's your nationality? Salvadorian. Okay. I'm Salvadorian. I I'm Salvadorian. Okay. okay, is it clear? It's clear. Awesome, awesome. Now, what we're going to do, so we're going to select a student A and a student B. Alexandra and, let's see, Alexandra and Maria. You're going to ask, where are you from? And what's your nationality? Those are just the two questions that you are going to take into consideration. Okay, go ahead, please. Mm -hmm. Alexandra and Maria Santos. Alexandra Yamilez. Okay. Um, Maria, where are you from? Maria, where are you from? Oh, Maria, okay. Maria Santos, no. can you listen to? Vasco Cabañas. No, you need to select that country and also your nationality. If you can turn your cameras on, do it. Si pueden encender las cámaras, háganlo, porfa. Todos tienen que tener las cámaras encendidas. Okay, one more time, please. Eh, Alexandra and, and Jose Alejandro. Okay. Alejandro, where are you from? I'm from um, Mexico. Okay, and the second okay. question? And what is your nationality? Uh-huh. I'm Mexican. Where are you from? Okay, I'm from Mexico. And what's your nationality? I'm Mexican. Okay, thank you. Now, Alejandro and Ana. Ana, you are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from, Ana? Hi, I'm from El Salvador. Uh -huh. What is your nationality? I am Salvadorian. Excellent. Anna and uh, Silvia Esther. Let's do it quickly, guys, because we don't have enough time. Okay. Silvia, where are you from? I'm from Brazil. 
and what is your nationality? I am Brazilian. Okay, awesome. Thank you guys. Uh, we're going to continue to matter with the same activity and also we are going to practice a little bit more. Okay, nos quedamos hasta acá. Ya no les quito más de su tiempo porque tenemos que empezar a tiempo y terminar a tiempo. Entonces, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta o duda. No questions. No questions at all. Vaya, entonces, si no han cenado, buen provecho para los que no han cenado. Y si ya cenaron, pues que descansen. Nos vemos hasta el día de mañana a las 8 de la noche. Ok. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye bye. See ya, teacher. See ya. Take care.